The state of Wyoming in Western North America is renowned worldwide for providing opportunities to see large land mammals. Hunters and tourists from all over the world come to marvel at these magnificent beasts. We have creatures like the American moose, the bighorn sheep, the reindeer, the grizzly bear, and several different varieties of smaller deer, including the mule deer and the whitetail. However, one of the most iconic of all Western mammals is very difficult to see and very elusive indeed, and that is the wily jackalope. And that will be the focus of today's program. I'm here in the Werner Wildlife Museum in Casper, Wyoming, here in the windswept wasteland of Western United States of America. And here we can see examples of many creatures which are familiar and iconic of the American West. Things like the pronghorn antelope, the sage grouse, the golden eagle and the rattlesnake. Many of these can be seen easily from the window of a car speeding down I-25. But one of the most distinctive of America's creatures is almost never seen by casual visitors. And indeed, many have lived in Wyoming for decades without ever having seen one. It is the wily jackalope. The jackalope is a rabbit with horns. And although the males are very seldom seen, it's not uncommon to see females. One was bagged and donated to this museum and its stuffed carcass can be seen in the diorama right there. Jackalopes were unknown to Western science until the 20th century, but they have a rich fossil history that extends back for millions of years. Here to shed more light on this topic is J.P. Cavicelli of the Tate Geological Museum at Casper College. This is the skeleton of an ancestral jackalope. And you can see, if you look closely, it looks a lot like a rabbit, trust me on that one, except for it's got the antlers of a jackalope. The, uh, the Oligocene jackalope we see here, it's a well-known fossil having been found back in the 1800s in this area, when this area was first being explored for uh, fossils and such. And they are very rabbit-like, except for the antlers. And where you've got prey animals, you've got predators to feed on them. Here is an example of one such right here. This is the saber-toothed jackalope, also from the Oligocene period, same as the one we previously saw. Notice the large saber tooth, showing that this was definitely a carnivore. This thing probably would have preyed on non-carnivorous jackalopes. That is the theory. Someday we'd love to find a complete one with the prey animal inside, but we're still looking for that one. Right here is an example of the woolly jackalope. You'll notice it's got a pair of beautiful tusks, very similar to the woolly mammoth. And what purpose did these tusks serve? These tusks would have served all kinds of purpose. This is a Ice Age fossil, so this is much more recent than the two previous ones we've seen. This animal would have been running around in the steppes of Wyoming when it was an Ice Age. These lovely tusks would have been wonderful for scraping the ground in the snow, exposing the, uh, the grass to be found. And you know you can see modern antelopes doing that if you look carefully on a snowy day. The tusks would have also been really good for fighting each other. Pugnacity in the <laughs> Ice Age. And this is the Triceralope, uh, Cornutus tricornatus. You can see it's got three, count them, three sets of horns, antlers. One, two, and a big schnoz antler like that. Sadly, these spectacular beasts became extinct at the end of the last ice age, leaving the modern jackalope as the only species left in North America. And there you have it, the jackalope. We've presented the evidence. Some say it's a myth. Some say it's a hoax. You'll have to decide for yourself. What is certain is that this is one of the most interesting of all the creatures of the American West.